Oh my goodness, you guys, it's been a month since my last upload. That feels crazy. I don't know if I've ever had that long off taking a video before in the last 10 years on YouTube. So I'm sorry to you guys who are frequent viewers. I was still able to put up a couple of videos for members for a bit of behind the scenes stuff. But yeah, I'm sorry I haven't been here. Basically I took two weeks off because we got a dog. Very exciting, we have a new family member. Currently she's playing outside, but I'll bring her into the video in a little while. So stay tuned to meet Miss Fran Fine, Franny, Fran Japani. And then I guess that was so exciting that my body got sick and I had a cough for two weeks. <coughs> like that. So I haven't been able to film because I've been coughing constantly. Anyway, long story short, I'm so excited to be back. And today we're gonna be building a realistic apartment. Here in San Maishino, we've been working for months, months, I tell you, on rebuilding or renovating every single apartment in San Maishino. So we've basically done like 90% of them. We've done this one, we've done this one. Oh, here's one we haven't done, 930 Medina Studios. We have not done that. I did renovate that a long time ago. Was it for our single dads let's play maybe? So yeah, we might do that one today. Uh, we've done these and then I think it's just a couple of really big fancy ones. Yeah, we've got an alto apartment here that we need to do. And was there one over here? I swear there's one more we need to do. We've done that one. Oh, and this one. Is that eight land grab? Roman numerals always confuse me a little bit, but I absolutely love them. I actually always wanted a Roman numeral tattoo on my wrist, but I've been too scared to get one. So if you guys have ideas for the land grab apartment or the alto apartment, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget, if you do purchase any Sims packs from the EA app or the sims.com, you can use my code Deligracy at checkout and that help support me as a creator. So thanks so much, you guys. And thanks to EA for sponsoring this part of the video. I have to add that as a disclosure. So let's today do our classic realistic apartment renovation. Let's just get a vibe or we'll get the vibe of this. So this lot is 930 Medina Studios. Surprisingly cheap for its size, this fine old apartment is the most grand in the building. I mean, yeah, I guess it's three bedroom, one bath. And then we have the quiet, dark apartment here. That one was a really cool one. And then our bachelor pad. That was a really cool one as well. So we need to make this one really good too. Lot traits and challenges, gnomes. Broken things just seem to get mended overnight. It's as if kindly gnomes watch over the place. I wanna have gnomes at my house. Penny Pixies, Sims often find loose change around the place. It's like there's a secret money fairy or something. Okay, so not only do things get fixed for free, you also get free money. This is an epic apartment to live in. I never realized that. I never knew how good this apartment could be. So like I said, let's do a realistic renovation, meaning that um, if this existed in real life, we have to think about what things you would actually need here. So perhaps we should add a laundry. We do have space for that. Lots of storage. That's the worst thing about living in an apartment. I feel like a lot of apartments do not have enough storage, especially newly developed apartments that are just made super cheap. They have like one linen cupboard and that's it. So let's uh, let's make this a good development. The deli developments are always the best. Not to toot my own horn or anything. Okay, so when you walk in, this is the front door. And I've got to tell you, I'm so surprised because when I said this is so unrealistic for an apartment to have a glass front door, because this does not exist in Australia. Or if it does, it's extremely rare. But so many of you guys said this does exist in America. And that's crazy to me for privacy. Like, what is the point when it just looks into a corridor? Just like, so your neighbors can spy on you. Anyway, so you walk in and we've got some pretty ugly flooring. It's like a linoleum, linoleum tile. Dining room, blue and yellow. I'm not huge on that. The kitchen's kind of cool. Like I like this. I mean, it's extremely dark, good gracious. But I like the idea of having this like hidey hole that you could serve food through. We could keep that. And I actually really like the floor plan. It's pretty well done. You know I love a cheeky button. Uh, lounge room is very, very strange because why is the coffee table off center? This is the saddest little lamp I've ever seen. Everything's just a little off, you know? It's a little skew if. Um, so we're definitely gonna change this. And this is this is sad too. We're gonna we're gonna get a bigger TV. 
I think they should adjust the prices of the TVs in the game, actually, because they're really expensive. You can only get little ones. But in real life, you can get a big TV for a lot cheaper these days. So that would be cool. Then this is an interesting like little corridor area. We could definitely turn this into maybe a home studio nook, or this could be like an extended bathroom laundry area, perhaps. Uh, we've got a big bedroom in here. That's very nice. We might do a built-in wardrobe. We desperately need more built-in wardrobes in the game. We only have the ones from Get Together. I use them all the time and we need more. And then, the, oh wow, this is the public looking bathroom. This is hideous. I love it though. I really love it because as much as I say EA builds are hideous, I love it because it means we have something to improve on. And it's also very realistic. We're talking about a realistic apartment. Most of the time, you're not gonna get a shiny new apartment unless you're lucky and you got some money. We got something to work with here, people. I love the privacy right here, but I don't love the fact we have no toilet paper. We're gonna fix that. You guys should see how much toilet paper I have in my cupboard right now. I never got past the 2020 toilet pa paper shortage. Actually, whoa, that is so high up. Holy dooly. Okay, we need to fix that. This apartment's actually pretty big. I think we should keep the floor plan. Like, I don't even know if I want to knock down any walls other than maybe the nook area, change that up a bit. We've got a gorgeous kid's bedroom here, super bland. So I feel like we can dress that up a bit. And then just through here, we have a third bedroom. And this is really nice with those big windows. Actually, you know what? This, oh, that is a sad little mirror. And then we've got a, wardrobe in here that is very, again, skew -if, you know, uh, different heights. We definitely can dress up that uh, wardrobe as well. Now I'm confused with which bedroom we want to be the main bedroom. Because honestly, I feel like this should have a bathroom instead of this huge wardrobe area. So it's a two bathroom, three bedroom house. Honestly, we could probably turn this into four bedrooms. And then that would make it a really versatile family home. Cause there's not many apartments with four bedrooms that aren't like the massive apartments and super glamorous ones. But I kind of like that idea. Okay, I know I said I'm not gonna bulldoze any walls, but I might now. <laughs> I might have a little bit of fun with that. Maybe this can be a bedroom. It's just like the child that the family has doesn't like. No, that's awful. I'm sorry if that's triggering to anyone. Okay, so let's say, part of me likes the idea of like, the main bedroom being at one end of the house and the kids' bedrooms being at the other end of the house. But yeah, actually that could work. And we could definitely fit a laundry in here because it's so big. Guys, we have a special visitor. Guys, this is Fran Fine, or Fran Japani is her full name. But if you've seen the nanny, a 90s sitcom, she's named after Fran Fine because she's got a very unique voice, don't you? We love her very much and yeah, Bowser now has a little sister, which is very exciting. But I won't hold her for too long because she's very busy. You're very busy, aren't you? I love you. She just rolled her eyes. Did you roll your eyes? You did. Okay. She's such a sweet girl, but she's teething right now. And if you've ever dealt with teething, it's a lot. Let's just play around with the furniture here. Um, we might keep a few furniture items just because it's sometimes nice to keep a little bit of the old amongst the new. Let's say this is gonna be a study nook in there. I don't think it's the nicest spot for a study just because it's very dark and windowless, but sometimes, you know, you don't get to choose where your study is. It's just gotta be in a nook somewhere and then you, you make it work somehow. Okay, so this is huge. I, I had this idea of maybe doing like a, a walk-in wardrobe over on this side. Yeah, that could work nicely over there. What's our lighting situation? We do have some of the saucy saucer lights, but they're the old big lights. These used to be the only ones we had in the game, the big ones. But then because people were using them so much and sizing them down like this, they just added the size down version which was such a great addition to the game. There's been so many great um, updates and it's so easy to forget about them. So I'm gonna get rid of these. Are they cheaper or the same price? No, they're the same price. We will straighten them up at the end because it really irritates me these days when lights aren't straight. I never had this issue until you guys, yes, you, 
pointed it out to me how my lights were crooked in every single build, and now I'm obsessed with straightening them. My psychologist says I have a perfectionist personality, but it's not really like literal perfectionism with visual things, more of an overarching personality theme. But now I'm not so sure. Speaking of perfectionism, we need to move the candle into view because I want you guys to be able to enjoy the ambiance. This is what you subscribe for, the ambiance. Okay, so this is gonna be walk-in wardrobe. Ooh, I just had another idea with the lounge room because this is a little strange. It's also interesting because I feel like it almost makes more sense to have the dining room here because it's like closer to the kitchen because of this opening. But then at the same time, it's like you have to walk further around. Yeah, okay, we'll keep the dining room there. What is with these chairs? Wait, did I do that? My idea is to actually kind of reorganize this room. So let's get rid of this rug because it's really throwing me off. Okay, so my idea was to do like the TV here. You see how it's a little bit more aligned, I guess? But then it's kind of weird because of the window situation. I wish the window went all the way across. So the other option is we put the TV here, do something like that, but then that's kind of squished in. Or, I mean, this is a family home and we're, <coughs> pardon me, trying to do a realistic apartment. Realistically, you might put the TV to the side of the window here. Okay, I've got to get rid of this little TV table. It's driving me nut buzz. I do like a TV situation there. It's really not an easy space to work with. Okay, after thinking about it a little bit more, I think the TV should go on this wall. Over here, instead of having like a couch blocking that walkway, I think what we could do is once we pick out the furniture we're gonna use, we could have like a chair on the side. Even better, we could have a rocking chair. Cause rocking chairs need a lot of space. I'm so glad you guys can see this candle now. Let me know in the comments down below if you appreciate the ambiance. Every time you say the word ambiance, you have to say it like ambiance. What's it called when a word sounds like the meaning of the word? That's ambiance. Yeah, I think we should do it like this. And then we have room because we're doing a realistic apartment. This is gonna be a play area for kids because it is a family apartment. And the more I look at the kitchen, the more I'm like, I love it. I love that it's a little weird, but it is kind of taking up a lot of room. Could we even open this up a couple more? Maybe do something like, yeah, something like that would look really nice. We're obviously gonna change absolutely everything. Not actually everything, because you guys get angry at me if I change like literally everything. Because then you're like, well, you may as well have boulders the whole thing. It's not a renovation. Okay, so this room, this room's good. I feel like I've already done, have we already, have we already done this apartment? I feel like we probably did this like three months ago and I've forgotten. And then I was thinking we should definitely turn this into a shared bathroom. I literally can't remember which builds I've done at this point and which ones I haven't. I did go through the gallery just before though, and I didn't see this one. Shared bathroom here. If we extend this a little bit, we could divide, yes, this into two bedrooms. And I know this one has a very sad little window, but let's maybe say it's a toddler room. It's not ideal, but it's a renovation folks. So we're gonna make it work, okay? Okay. Let's get rid of this hideous flooring. We can maybe do a different, we'll do a different tile in the kitchen. Tiles can be fun. I appreciate the cre cre creativity, the creativity of uh, placing different rug squares to create a bit of a colored pattern. So we could utilize that idea maybe in one of the kids' rooms because that's kind of a cool idea. Just to remind myself, and so we don't forget, I'm just gonna do like a little a little thing over here. That's not gonna be the final one, but just to remind us that that's the idea we're going with. And I'm also going to change these doors to a lighter wood so they pair with the flooring more nicely. And I guess with this house, cause we're also, again, talking about being more realistic. I don't want it to look like too perfect in terms of furnishing. Realistically, you know, if you've got a young family, heck, if you've got an older family, usually people don't have heaps of money to just make everything look perfect. If you do, I mean, Good for you, that is awesome. But like in the house that I live in, there's so many things I wanna do to this place because it's an old house from the late 70s. But 
that it's gonna take so long to be able to save and do those things. So realistically, what I'm trying to say is we're just gonna make this look kind of bad in some areas and that's gonna give it character. But we can do some things like paint bits and bobs, you know? I do like this paneled wall, but let's change it to one that looks like it's been freshly painted. Let me just go with this one for now. And we should have some like nice curtains. My friend uh, Dr. Gluon had this really cool idea of turning some walls into blackboards. So that's what I'm doing right here. And then some of the decals actually look like kids have drawn on the walls, like these types of pictures. This one looks particularly chalky in my opinion. Maybe we could do like a blackboard wall here. Although realistically, this whole wall as a blackboard would be really annoying. So maybe we can just do like a portion. I like the idea of doing friendly blue bathrooms and a friendly kitchen. I know some of you guys cannot stand home chef hustle kitchen anymore. You say, Deli, you've been doing it too much. Thank you guys, it's so good. How could you take it away from me? We could do Dream Home Decorator. None of this really matches the flooring. Okay, maybe we do need to change the flooring just because we don't have many kitchens available. Do we have a dark, deep blue tile that works with these benches? Pretty sure there's a navy spa day tile, isn't there? Hmm little off. Ooh, castle flooring. I mean, obviously not great for this build. I'm so keen to try that out. That turquoise color is so much fun. I'm gonna pop that over there just in case we wanna use it. I have seen so many trendy kitchens on Instagram and Pinterest using bricks like this in their kitchen. And I'm like, how do you clean that? Like seriously, how do you clean the floor if you have rustic bricks? It looks amazing, but how practical is it? Cause I don't think you could vacuum it. This jungle adventure wallpaper actually pairs perfectly, almost perfectly with the bench top. So I really like that. The more I'm looking at this, the more I'm feeling like having this huge generous bench is maybe not so realistic. And maybe I did get a little bit excited with it. So I think we should close this up and kind of go back to the original idea that instead of actually having a bench over this side, let's just do a simple half wall just like that. So you still have the original hidey hole, but it doesn't like jut out into this lounge room. And as much as I love that herringbone wood pattern we had, not very realistic because it would cost a lot. Well, actually you could probably find a bargain, I'm sure. Sure. Okay, I feel like, again, realistically, I think it's, at least in Australia, most wallpapers will have a skirting board. It doesn't have to have a crown necessarily at the top, but it does feel a little unrealistic not having the skirting board in this kind of apartment. So I think I'll do that. And it's also very realistic to have a lot of white walls in homes, uh, cause it's just very, it's easy. Let's be honest, it, it's easy, it looks good, it's cheap. You just buy heaps of white paint, you're good to go. It's just in the Sims, the white walls often look really bad. <laughs> so we'll even it out a bit. I do often like a bit of gray, so we could do the gray. Well, what about the new base game update to wallpapers? This one over here. Maybe we could, you know, get a little bit of color in here with these for a change. Gray, navy, white, green. I mean, I know that they said they spent a lot of time on these wallpapers and I am very grateful for that, but the colors are still so similar to the colors we already have. I was a little bummed out. Although this, that blush is quite nice. I actually think the best color is probably one of these greens. Maybe this one, this looks very family friendly, cozy type of house. So we could, we could go the green. Oh, but then it doesn't really go with our blue kitchen that we've just spent ages on. Hmm, I'm gonna have to really think about this. Okay guys, I've got out so much kid stuff because I just feel like I need to be able to see all the kid stuff to start turning this into a play area and kid zone. I had an idea that we could use this massive tent in here as a massive playroom, but then I remembered this is meant to be the dining area. <laughs> I mean, we probably could actually technically squeeze a tiny dining table into here, but it's really not ideal. Could we 
even use this in one of the bedrooms, you know, have this as like a, a canopy. I mean, that's kind of a cute idea. Honestly, as a kid, this would have been an absolute dream to have, but I think we will need to play a test that they can hop into bed. I feel like they should be able to, because this would just be adorable. Oh, look at the yellow. I actually really love this yellow theme. I mean, that's just really cool. And realistically, you could have that in an apartment. I think also realistically, again, in Australia at least, you typically have built-in wardrobes. I guess not in every room, but considering this building looks like a modern building, usually modern buildings would have built-in wardrobes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop those in most of the rooms, like a few rooms, don't necessarily have them. Like a smaller room might not, but you certainly expect them. Okay, this was gonna be a walk-in wardrobe, which is the other option that's common. Let's just have, yeah, a walk-in wardrobe in here. And I've picked cream walls as an off-white because I think it just looks out a little bit warmer and it's different to, at least a little bit different to the white I so often use. Oh, I just realized this blanket actually matches the floor blanket. That's cool. Realistically, you would want a bedside table with a little bit of storage in it, at least for a kid's bedroom. And realistically, a kid's room usually has like toys everywhere, right? I don't know how many kids actually have these giant toys, but <laughs> Maybe that's not the most realistic, but a little koala bear is. So that's a really cute little play tent. Please work. Oh, please work. Always needing more storage. So I feel like we should put in another chest of drawers too. And storage boxes. Oh, these are in lots of kids' rooms. I don't have kids, so I don't know a whole lot about what kids need. But I remember when I was a kid, we were constantly packing up my toys, like toys everywhere. It was crazy. And I always had so much on my walls, like posters, drawings, maybe some awards from Little Athletics or something like that. But a family measuring height area is quite realistic. It's realistic for things to be a little off center. So let's pop up some Tooth Fairy posters, which you might want to delete if you actually use this house for gameplay, because I think you get those when the Tooth Fairy comes in growing together. Yeah, let's put lots of posters up. Berries. And a bookshelf. Although those could have books in them. Let's do another little bookshelf, a little chair. And the posters are probably lower down where a kid can reach. And mess. Okay, I'm pretty pretty happy with that for our first kid's bedroom, which I'll play a test to make sure it's working. I like the idea of maybe having like maybe a puppet thing in the corner or this dollhouse behind a couch. Maybe that can sit here. We do like our puppeteer area in this corner. Do we wanna have this like outdoor cinema looking sheet thing in the lounge room? Part of me thinks it's cute, but also I don't think that's quite realistic. Now this, you have to let the kids be able to get in the doors in the side, I think. So we could have a puppeteer moment. Again, I need to play a test this, but that could work. Oh my gosh, there's so much mess in here. Is this what it feels like to be a parent? It is realistic to have an Ikea looking dining table and chair. Diving table and di diving? Dining table and chairs. Maybe we can do our special rug in here. Honestly, I'm not really feeling that. I like this though. I mean, these are, these are cute ideas. It is very realistic to have mugs and letters and stuff, school documents to sign. I'm just pulling out of debug mode, a couple of pictures, just to warm the place up a little bit. I have never seen this item before, never seen it. Ever. I think a lot of homes have TV units because you can add storage and like hide cables in there or just put stuff into them. I think I'll actually just have the TV resting here and then we'll build an upper level perhaps. Oh wait, that's not gonna work. I'll have to add an extra piece. Wait, no, I want it to, I'm so confused right now. If I put that there, that there and that there. It doesn't work as a perfect grid. No, are there singular pieces? Okay, we can do it this way. Whoa, there we go. Okay, yeah, we did it. I think when Gluon does it, he usually has 
filler next to the blackboard, like to frame it off. And I think that looks a little more realistic. And this lounge room is kind of messy, which again, I think is kind of realistic. Okay, for the kitchen, let's go with, I think it should be pretty standard. Like this isn't gonna be a crazy fancy kitchen. It'd be a nice kitchen. We could do two-tone cupboards perhaps. Do we like that? Do we like the blue or do we like the white? White is probably more realistic because that's what most people would probably pick. I kind of like the blue though because it just blends into the walls, which I feel is pretty cool. Uh, we don't have that option in this other colorway though. If we want to match these, which is also very nice, we'd need to go with these. Oh man, this fridge doesn't fit, but I want that end piece. Okay, we might have to do the more expensive fridge here, but we'll do just like a white swatch so it looks less fancy. A realistic sink for a renovation, I think. Fire alarm, safety first. It's illegal not to have a fire alarm in your house, right? I think in America, you need to have a monoxide meter thing as well, which we don't have in Australia, but I feel like Australia really should have that as well. But for some reason we don't. Let's do a stove top over here. It's just still this one. Oh, I kind of like these tiles because it ties in both colors. Or should I say tiles in both colors? <laughs> well, actually there's, this does too. Oh my gosh, we're geniuses and we didn't even know it. It's also realistic to have a range hood at least in Australia. I don't know about other countries. Microwave, very realistic. Coffee machine, yes. I would say that is realistic. Dish rack, yes. Why does nothing fit in this shelf? So annoying. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with this tile. I actually think that looks nice. I think for the bathrooms, we should go pretty simple. I love this teal color, but part of me feels like we should tie into the light blue kitchen. But then another part of me is like, we have these dark feature walls that are yes, navy, not teal. Well, actually there's a navy bathroom wall. And you know what? The Home Chef Hustle Pack has tiles that match perfectly with this wallpaper. So we could do that. And then that means we can utilize this neutral paint swatch in the bathrooms too that we've been using. And that ties in fairly nicely. Actually, you know what? The cream ties in even better. And then I feel like that's cohesive with the rest of the house. Coherent or cohesive? I always get confused with those words. Quite frequently, I get the really cool feedback that some of you guys learn English through my channel, but I hate to break it to you. I am terrible at the English language <laughs> and it's the only language I speak. But whenever I see that comment, I get super duper excited because that's such a, that's such a trip. We should do this bathtub or do we want to do the really nice bathtub? Because it does kind of look like the bathrooms were recently renovated. But then I'm also being careful because I said at the start of this build that we can't make it like too nice. This house is pretty nice though. I think we should use this. I think we need a tile back onto this wall and then maybe we can plaster on that wall. <gasps> that's pretty. That looks really good. This does look realistic. I feel really bad for this family's budget. Let's go the cheapest toilet. Toilet paper! Thank goodness. We want this bathroom to look super kid friendly. And we have the perfect kit for that called the bathroom clutter kit. So much fun stuff in here. We really don't have convincing bathroom sinks. They all look like sinks that go in the kitchen. Obviously the freestanding ones are a different story, but I wanna have the storage because we have so many great bathroom clutter items that we need surfaces to put them on. I love these decals. So much fun. Maybe if we get a shelf in the bathroom, we can, you know, clutter it up. We can actually size this down. We can have even more towels over here. Because realistically, you need a bit of storage in the bathroom, I feel. A toothbrush, toothpaste, maybe. Oh, those are a bit too fancy for a kid's bathroom. The kids could put little duvalackies in there, brushes and I know, other bath things. In here, I think we should have a little nursery slash toddler room. So, I mean, technically this crib turns into this bed. So we could just have the one bed. And I thought it would be cute to create like a little scene behind these curtains, just because there's limited real windows in the room. So it could be kind of cute, maybe doing like a black wall. And then I'm not sure that I'm really feeling this rug though. Oh, that's cute with the little sheep. We do need some form of storage in here. So let's put a nice white 
cabinet, change table over here. We appear to be going with a very pink theme. What was that rose color we liked? Oh yeah, this is a good, this is a good color. The object that I swear I've never seen before we can use in the corner. I swear I've never seen that. And to complete the room, we could have a nursing chair with a really pretty lamp next to it. Feature, a feature lamp. That's so cute. I love this little nursery. It's so pretty. It's so cute. It must be really fun decorating a nursery. This bedroom, let's make it colorful. Actually, let's go with green tones in this room and make it a little bit more like muted, foresty, if you will. And we'll go with the original curtains that I've left up here. Yeah, like forest inspired bedroom, forest inspired. Holy moly, this build is taking me so much longer than I thought it would. Like I've been doing this for I think three hours. James has already filmed and edited another video. Some void credit cards decorate the place with. Very cool. I feel like you would use similar storage solutions in each kid's bedroom as well. They can have a cool bean bag. Okay, and for the main bedroom, I do like the idea of a peachy theme. Maybe we'll keep a few of these original items, although I'm not a huge fan of the side tables in this room. Want like Ikea looking side table. We have the original curtains just in a different swatch. This is the original dresser again in a different swatch. And in here, this was gonna be our walk-in wardrobe, which I think we'll use Dream Home Decorator because we've been using a lot of that in this build. And because we've got limited space in here, this will probably fit the best. There you go, do a little a little modular number. We'll do a mirror at the end of the room. Okay, maybe it does need to be one tile wider. And I want that realistic melamine look in the wardrobe. Maybe the parents' room can be a little more minimal and cleaner because they're like, I just want a space where I can relax and that's just neat. I know my mom was a bit like that with me growing up, like her bedroom was always pretty neat. Whereas the rest of the house, Mostly because of me was really messy. Oh, not really messy, but messier than she would like. Got some skill building items there. And then over here, oh, I did say I wanted these doors to line up, didn't I? We could do more built-in bookshelves. Okay, we have finished and we are ready to tour our realistic apartment for a family. Okay, so you come through the door from this very sad hallway. And this is our entrance. You've got lots of things there, a spot for coats, a few clutter items. We've got some bikes parked in the apartment. And here is our gorgeous kitchen. Very light and bright and pretty. They recently got to renovate this and this makes me hopeful to renovate my kitchen. There's a hopscotch drawn in the hallway. Lots of fun. And then this is our dining room. This is actually a really cute area. I love this. It just looks very lived in. There's stuff on the dining table. It looks realistic to me. Toys are everywhere. We kept the original curtains. Then we have our very busy lounge room, the blackboard, a little play corner where you could put anything you want. And then you'll notice there's lots of little additions of storage, like these little picture drawers, this other blackboard unit. We've got our playhouse, lunch boxes on the bench ready to go, and then our big TV unit, complete with a frog that one of the kids brought home. And then lots of kind of mismatched couches, but working with mostly blue and yellow because there was yellow furniture in this house originally. So I wanted to keep that. Just around the corner here is what I call the forgotten nook. It's like the nook you can't put a lot of time or energy into. So it's not the nicest part of the house, but it's functional. Like you have it cause you need it or you just put your junk there and these Batu items were inspired by James because he loves Batu. And we have a lot of Lego builds around our house. So he's inspired that. There's a work desk with the original computer, some postcards. And then just in here's our bathroom laundry. So this could be seen as like the main bedroom ensuite, just cause it's closest to the main bedroom. Then our bathroom clutter. And then our toilet behind the half wall with toilet paper and our laundry area. And then through here, this is our main bedroom which is a clean haven away from the chaos in the rest of the house. They have a walk-in wardrobe, lovely. 
I wanted this to look very realistic. For like an affordable walk-in wardrobe, we've got another bookshelf. It's nice to use these curtains because I don't think I've ever used them before just because I find the pattern and color a bit tricky, but they go well with the blush walls. And out of the new wallpapers, I really love this color. Then we've got a little skill area. If we head back out through our lounge room, yeah, the dining area is definitely my favorite. Head down the corridor to the kids' rooms and we have three bedrooms pretty good. This is the first bedroom we did with our tent. I will play a test it before I upload it to make sure it does work. That's so cute. Lots of things on the walls. This looks realistic to me other than probably the tent because the tent is a little bit too extravagant for me to ever imagine as a kid. I love that you can see the sky out the window. So that's a whole heap of fun. Lots of storage, a mess. Across the hallway is our bathroom, toilet, shower. Again, lots of storage because apartments never have enough storage and clutter. And then we'll go into this bedroom, the green bedroom with the original curtains. This is a cool bedroom. I just like how all the colors work in here. It's a very different vibe. Kind of cool how you can see the tent in the first bedroom. Whoa, so this is, this is really nice. Some mess and storage again. How many times have I said storage in this video? And then last of all, we have our nursery, which is so cute. I love this room. I think the lamp actually really pulls it together. I think having extra curtains is kind of clever because it almost makes you believe there's a window when there's not. I mean, it obviously doesn't look like a window, but maybe it gives the illusion of a little bit more space. I know, you tell me. In our dresser area and the object I've never seen before. So let me know what you think of this build. If you wanna take a screenshot of the floor plan and create it yourself, you're more than welcome to. Otherwise I will upload it to the gallery as a room and you'll just need to fill in the walls that I delete in order to upload it as one room. Just search the apartment address or my username, Deligracy. Thank you so much to my beautiful members for your support. If you'd like to become a member and get access to bonus videos and updates behind the scenes, there's a link in the description down below to join. I'm so happy to be back making videos. So also feel free to comment any videos you would like to see. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and I can't wait to speak to y'all soon. Back, back.